All right, guys, welcome back to the Road to SSL and 3v3 series. Today is episode number 10 of the series, and we're going to be going undercover as Mickey Moon today. If you didn't watch the NA versus EU matchups on Johnny Boy streams, somehow we got the hashtag Mickey Moon trending on Twitter, which is honestly just hilarious. So I thought for today we'd use that name and photo for the matches. Unfortunately, I did make this photo around the time the hashtag was trending on Twitter, so our regular session of creating the picture won't happen today. But I think it's for the better because this image is horrendous. In comparison to last episode's petals, it definitely falls short, but hey, it's worth it. Be sure to drop a comment the next name and picture you'd like me to use but now let's get into the next matches so last episode we ended up at 1498 in grand champion one division three i think in this episode if we win the next three games we probably will move up into the third highest rank grand champion two but if we do lose a game we'll start to uh you know feel that slowdown of the climb because every episode right now we've been gaining about 20 or 30 mmr every game so we've been climbing really fast because we're on episode number 10 like i said in the last uh, the last series of ssl we went to like episode 48 which is incredible but hopefully uh this you know we can get more educational content into this 3v3 series and uh hopefully you guys enjoy it but if you aren't subscribed yet and you haven't followed the playlist be sure to do so it helps out me out a lot and hopefully it helps you out too but now let's jump into the next game see how it goes all right we got pluto and casper on my team we're gonna be getting into some pretty tough games here now that we're in uh basically 1500 so we gotta be a little bit mindful of how fast we're gonna be playing. Try to touch this. Okay, miss. Make a flick. Should be in here. So right there, the last player, I think it was Odie. He ended up pushing up in a spot where he shouldn't. So what I wanted to do is just make a flick because oh, actually it wasn't Odie. It was Grim. Um, he made a, a wide turn. Um, and then I was able to pop it right over him. Um, love the name. You're going places. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right, good touch to the back corner. Sometimes losing the kickoff is actually good for you. Um, right here, I'm going to try and stay with it. Um, it's a bit awkward of a play, but I want to make sure I follow along with the flip. Keep the ball close. I know I have a free ball here or my teammate, so I'm just waiting for him to use the uh, the half volley. Good touch. Make sure I touch this and stay with it. Make sure I use my double pop there, so that way I like, double jump. That way I can keep my car level. If I flip there, it's pretty bad. It's going to be hard to uh, recontrol. Also, you got, you got to remember that every time you do double jump, you get a little bit more height. But if you flip, you end up leveling out. That's not a good touch for me, but Pluto can actually... Okay, never mind. It was a great touch. <laughs> what do I know? Why are you guys watching me? I have no idea what I'm talking about. It was a beautiful touch to the right right here for Pluto to follow because he double committed with me. You know, it just sometimes happens to work out like that. You know, sometimes you just got to go with the flow. Ooh. Awful kickoff. That's okay, though. Pluto should have this. Don't want to rush up there with my teammate because then I'd be stuck as last man. Awful read here, but uh, you can try to... Uh, follow it along there's actually some training packs you should do to help those reads um when you're trying to read those backboard plays there's some defense plays you can actually make your own too like sp spawn your car in net and just put yourself in a situation where uh i'm la he's last right here so it's a little scary but um put yourself in those situations and try to read them and keep keep trying them over and over and over again like make a, a training pack of like 10 shots with sh like i guess they're not shots like shots on you and then try to make it clear it's a lot harder than it seems, but uh, you'll get used to um, getting in really awkward positions and getting out of them a lot more. And, and it should feel re rewarding, too, that you you get... Okay, they ended up forfeiting already. Um, it should feel rewarding that you are you know learning how to adapt to weird car control in situations that you might not be able to read beforehand. So that's what I would do back in the day. It was just sit and tra uh, train. I'm alone, by the way. What happened? <laughs> That was such a quick game. I didn't I didn't feel like I did that much. I mean, that, that last shot there, I wasn't able to discuss it yet. But all I do there is try to get in the right trajectory with my aerials. And at the last second, you can see that I air rolled to uh, adjust my, my shot. And I'm always just trying to create a wall between my car and the ball to make it bounce the proper way. But that was a quick game. Let's jump to the next one. I hope the next game doesn't end up in, uh, being a two-minute game like that. But uh, that was 20 points, like I said. So we're going to keep moving up pretty quickly here. I apologize, by the way, in advance if sometimes I feel like I'm being a bit of a scatterbrain when I'm discussing things in 3v3. I think there's just so much going on that it's hard for me to focus on everything that I want to talk about. Um, because there are a lot of micro decisions that happen, especially at the high level, um, that determine like how fast you're going to be in a game. Like right here, the way that I want to shoot this is cause a double commit by putting it near the middle. Um, I definitely could have shot that a little bit faster too. But at the same time, uh, there's a good chance they're probably going to save that. Good save. Good demo though. So free touch here. Make sure to pop it once. And right here, I'm going to boost hard into the ball so it goes off the backboard. And I scored. 
I just feel like I had to score that one because it was it was like perfect. So I ended up what I ended up doing was I popped it off. Um, burst ended up popping off the backboard, and then I just boosted the last second to get my angle right. A little bit of a butt shot. Kind of worked out perfectly for us. I was just about to say that I did a little bit too much in the first game, but then we did that. So <laughs> I have no idea. One of the craziest shots so far in the 3v3 series, though. Once again, doing the thing where I try to keep the ball close and then do the flip at the last second. Whenever you're level with the ball like that, you can definitely get a good flip. And like I said, it's also just a matter of doing it enough that you get used to the touches. Just play free play, put up the wall, and then try to follow it up with a pre-flip. I know that sounds like simple, like easier said than done, obviously. But as you get used to it, it becomes way more comfortable. And it's all just about muscle memory. Like, I get a lot of questions on stream, which if you want to follow my stream, by the way, it's lethemir underscore RL. Um, it'll be in the description. Um, I do talk about how, like, it's just a matter of doing the same thing over and over again. People ask me questions like, how do you get better and how do you improve fast? There's no getting, there's no getting good fast in this game. It's, it's all about just getting used to the touches and getting more familiar with your car. Um, it also helps, like, if you can get to the point where you don't look at your car at all, like, that's what I do. You actually feel a little more comfortable with your touches and stuff. Like, I'm looking at the ball the whole time. And I know that you guys want me to do air, uh, eye tracker at some point. So I'm trying to do that as well. I just haven't gotten the chance to order it yet. Also, I'm not sure how it works with two computers. Because I know that the, on the recording software, it might be weird. Should be Koala to touch the ball. Good control. I like that because the other the opponent was too far away. I see the opponent jumping up as well. So I'm just going to rotate back and get the new boost in the back corner. Wait for Frick's touch. Ends up missing. Good 50-50. Good try on the... Uh, oh, good save as well. Good try on the recover from... Uh, the opponent in the midfield. He was trying to jump up and cover that ball that spilled in the mid. d hacks jumping up really early. Throws it to his teammate, which is good possession. Now I have a free touch. Teammate jumped as well. I don't want to push up now because my teammate overcommitted. Trying to get the way of the pass. He passes it across. Good touches. Good air dribble. I like the dunk, but d hacks going to have a free clear. See if my teammate wants it. This back boost should be here. Let him touch it first, then take it across. Right here, I'm going to make a sing uh, single touch. Try to follow it up. Didn't get the follow-up I wanted. Uh, that teammate, that, the opponent that was on the backboard, kind of just ruined that play um, by touching the ball. It was an awkward ball that spilled it, it spilled it to mid if you didn't make a touch. This is also a really awkward ball here. That could be a shot. Um, that's a really good pass off that corner. It's a lot, really tough. Um, this touch from Koala kind of threw the ball away. I thought he was going to catch it, so it was in an awkward spot. And then no one was able to get it. I think Mouse was probably the one that was best to touch that ball. But then he ended up side flipping out of the way. He is high ping too. So it's all good. I have a free ball here. Throw it across. DX going to have a touch. Probably going to get the, the boost stolen as well here. So I'm just going to grab a few pads. Don't panic. The biggest thing is not to panic when you're low boost. You have to actually stay more controlled and more uh, patient with the ball. Not the greatest touch because it does spill straight down. So because of that, I'm just going to fake. Let my teammate get the ball possession instead. Now D-Hacks is out of the game. Frick made a bad touch. And Burst is jumping up. So now all three players are kind of committed in a weird spot. This could be good for us if we keep the pressure. Good try from the opponent. Or from my teammate. I see him trying to, he's trying to bump me. Not the greatest attempt at, at bumping. But we uh, do get a good chance here with the shot to the left side. Good save. Hope this boost spawns. So wait for it. Watch the ball's going to be right here. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> It's okay, no, no problem with the bump. Pop it around the one with the pre-flip. Probably going to go to overtime here, unless they make a bad touch, which they kind of did. I think this could be a clear cross. Good read, though. And that should be down. So we're going to go to overtime here, which is good. I think we can reset off that. We had some good pressure at the end of there, but nothing too crazy. Should be a decent touch. It's going to be an awkward touch for the opponent. As you can see, he made a bad clear. Good clear cross, though. We have possession now. Make sure I keep it close. Good early touches, but teammates should be there. Good touch as well. DX probably going to pop this up. I see that. It's going to pop it up behind Frick. It's an awkward touch for him. Let's see what Burst does. I touch off the corner. Good pinch. It could be in if Paul is not back. I think he's going to clear it, which is good. A decent touch. Not the greatest, though, because it does spill out into a spot where I wasn't quite ready. Thought the the uh, my teammate was gonna go behind, bump that guy. See if the X can make a touch. Good follow up. Thought they were gonna clear it. Wait for uh, someone to clear the ball. Hop off the backboard. Could be a good chance for us. A bit tight. Good try. Hopefully my teammate can go in. A little bit scared to go in a second man here. Good clear. 
It's alright to be a little bit nervous there. Um, to go for that touch. Because if he makes a bad clear and it goes over, over my head, then it's an immediate 1v3 for me. Good pass off the backboard. See if I can pop this. Not gonna touch it again. DX is stuck in net right now. One of my teammates probably should have uh, been there for a shot or something. Good turn. Make sure when I boost up forward, I'm getting a few boost pads. Good flick. To my teammate's ball here. The decent touch. Good follow from my teammate. I was going to follow that up myself, but kind of made a bad touch. Get clear to the corner. Bump burst if I can here. That should be my teammate. He's going for the back corner though, so Qual is going to be doing a good job of here of, uh, of rotating across. That's definitely on Mouse to be on that ball. Be a little bit careful of DHAX touch here. Teammate should be jumping up for this. Nice. Get touch here. Good. Should be Qual's touches. Well, it's a little bit dangerous. Oh, could be. Nice. Good finish from Mouse. So well played. It's a little bit, a little bit awkward uh, of a touch from from Koala. He ended up missing, but Mouse made a quick follow up, and I think uh, the one the one defender there probably should have been a little bit faster to that ball after the first pop. There's a bit of a uh, a grace period between someone flipping and someone being able to do something. Whenever someone flips, they're, they're going to be occupied for about two seconds before they can jump back up. So definitely use that to your advantage when you're following up with touches. Uh, try to cover your teammates in a spot where when someone flips, you can be the next player to immediately catch up with the ball and uh, hold on to the pressure. So Division 4 here is a bit, bit of a longer of a game. Kind of, kind of makes up for the fact that uh, the first game was only two minutes long. But uh, we're already Division 4, like I said, so hopefully this next game we, we division up and promote to Grand Champion 2. Alright, for the last game, we actually got Mouse again on my team. I'm not sure if it's Mayo. It's probably Mouse. I think he's South American. He's got 276 ping on this one. Oh my goodness. Uh, yep. Imagine trying to play with uh, that much ping. Oh, he's got 184 now. I'll pop this across. Good cut off by Queso, but it should be a free clear. Right here, I don't like Boop trying to jump for that early. And he even missed it too. So right here, I'm going to try and get a 50-50. I'll boost down to get in the way. Good clear. This is all from Boop not making a good clear. And we're under pressure because of it. It's a good shot too. Decent try. I'm going to try and pinch this. I kind of ball chased and got, got in the way of my teammate. But uh, I thought they, the other opponent was going to get in the way. So make sure to double jump in the way. Decent try. Both my teammates jumped though off the sides. So this could be an open goal. They end up missing though, which is good. Still no one's on the backboard. Hop over the last. Hopefully Mouse can move, move up here and... Try to get a pinch in mid, maybe. It's a good touch. Teammate could be there. Whoa. I don't know how people play with this high of a ping, though. Force a 50-50. He does with this touch. Let's wait for his clear. It's much more dangerous if that guy holds onto the ball rather than pops the ball to me. Holding onto the ball and being close to it is always more dangerous and more unpredictable. Oh, I don't like that my teammate left that, but it should be okay, though. Hopefully my teammate's on the backboard. He Mouse is actually positioning really, really well. I like this guy. Pop it around one. That's okay. As I say that, he jumps in for that. That's okay, though. I think we're going to be able to hold pressure here. Because they're probably going to throw this ball away. As I said. Oh, okay, boop. That's all good, man. To be a 50-50. Gato's going to clear it across. Hopefully boop can move in. Good touch. Good try. Not the greatest touch from Gato. He probably could have flipped that to be over my teammate, but instead he kind of popped it. Okay, I wasn't sure. I, I got kind of scared of Boop going for that, so I kind of hesitated. I probably should have just went, though. Oh, I think that guy's lagging. <laughs> Good touch, but it's going to go out to mid for my teammate. Not the greatest shot. This should work out for us. I can wait for his touch. Get behind my teammate. He's got a better position than, than, uh, than me. Okay. Oh, good touch. I wasn't expecting that. Big miss from the uh, uh, from the opponents, actually. They probably could have scored that, too, because it was a bit open for a second. My teammate's missing, so make a shot towards target. Put up nice and high. Once again, I'm trying not to do too much this game, because I did a little bit too much in the first two. So, hopefully, uh, we can take advantage of uh, the space. I'm not going to score this. I'm just going to pop it off the backboard and see what the opponents do. Good clear. I might have to just pop off though. Like honestly, at these at these games, like people are pretty consistent to the point where it's a little bit uh, difficult to win games unless you actually you know surprise the opponents and cause them to be in a situation where they're going to be uncomfortable. Um, especially when my teammates um, 
aren't positioning like too great. Yeah, I was gonna say they're not positioning great for like uh, keeping pressure. My one teammate went way back and then wasn't able to cover the ball. So I got a defensive touch, but my, I'm still last for a super long time. I tried to clear it at the corner though. Hopefully we can get a, a goal here, but we might be our first loss on our hands here. Make it clear towards forward, see if Mouse can make a shot. Okay, he just left instead. Interesting. Oh, good touch. Good finish. Oh, there we go. All right, boot made up for it. So uh, that was pretty good. I think, I think honestly, so far the pressure's just been a little bit awkward. I think that I need to be, need to be careful with being second man. Um, I think I could be a better third man than what my teammates are doing. So I just want to make sure that I'm, you know, holding into a good position. Um, and being, a, you know, a consistent anchor for my team. And I, I talk about this a lot in 3v3. Sometimes you want to be that, just be the reserve passive player because you don't know what your teammates are going to do. Especially in solo queue. Stay with us to try to just kill it. Or we can keep it up and actually try to score. Is that in? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I didn't think he wasn't going to save it. Oh no. Oh, it's kind of funny though. I thought that was bouncing. Well, we take those. <laughs> I am so sorry. Well, we're already halfway through 1500, so I think this should be the rank up here. Let's see if it's promotion. Oh, come on. Oh, not quite, actually. Okay, so in the next episode, if we win the next game, we should be a grand champion, too. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope I was a little bit insightful to what I'm thinking and what I'm doing. I know it's a little bit confusing at this rank to know what is the right decision, what isn't. And I apologize if I didn't do a great job of explaining myself. I try my best. It's just super hard to play and focus. As you guys know, a lot of you guys think that I record these after the fact, but I'm a busy guy, man. I can't, I can't be doing double the work by recording the gameplay and then recording the voiceover. So until next time, have a great day, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.